Tommy, how are you? I'm very well, mate. Yourself? Very well indeed. Good to be back. Great to be back. Never felt better. <laughs> <laughs> I would say you're looking in great shape, but I can't really see under all those layers. Ah, uh, well, you know, listen, they can't reveal that until night. That's why they buy the tickets, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> how hard was it getting back into training after the well-publicised summer yeah. uh, TV stint? I'm not, I'm not going to lie, it was hard to get back into training because, you know, as everybody knows, when you come out of Love Island, you do all these personal appearances, nightclubs here and there. So I was getting back at like five, six, seven in the morning watching the sun come up, you know, with a bottle of beer in me. And, you know, it, it, was, it was hard to get back into training, I'm not going to lie. But, you know, I, I switched flipped to my head and I was like, do you know what, if I keep doing this, you know, I'm just going to be another reality TV star. You know, it's been and gone. He's had five years of fame. And now where, where is he now? You know what I'm saying? I don't want that. I want to build on the platform that I've got now. I, just, I don't want to get here and then enjoy it for a year or two, even if that, and then it all goes away. You know, I want to, I've done that now. I've established who I am. I want to come back to my home. And then in that ring is my home. That's where I feel safe. That's where I feel at peace. So I just want to get back there now, but take all the fans that I've gained over with me because, you know, I thank everyone that you supported me. I just want all to get on this journey together. It's a bit weird that you're now known more for being on Love Island than you are yeah. for, for, as a boxer. For sure, yeah. It definitely is weird because... You know, boxing is what I do. You know, I've, I've done something for two months and automatically somebody knows me for, for that. It is crazy when you think about it, but, you know, it's a massive TV show and, you know, I'm the product of, of what it does. You know, it is life-changing. It does do a lot for you. Um, but I just want to re-establish myself now. Yeah, I've done well on Love Island. I've done this, I've done that. But I want to re reinvent myself now as, as a fighting man that I am. And you mentioned, like, the people who will be coming over to see you. I suspect yeah. there'll be a few people at your fight who've never actually been to a boxing match before. Yeah, I think, you know, coming back to boxing, I'm bringing a whole new audience that I've never even, you know, looked at a boxing fight before. So I think that's, that's a good aspect, you know, for boxing, because I'm bringing a new audience over. You know, I want to show everybody that, you know, coming to a fight is not just coming to a fight, you know, to see blood and guts, whatever. I want it to be a proper event, you know. I want people to come to the fight and be like, oh, I had a really good time last night, you know. His ring walk was good, his interviews, he was playing about, he was doing this, he was doing that. It's got to be an event at the end of the day. It can't all be too serious now, can it? <laughs> No, absolutely not. And I, I know for a fact you don't take yourself too seriously apart from when you're in the yeah. ring. And how has the last few weeks been training for this fight? Yeah, it's been good, don't get me wrong. Um, it's been hard. I've been putting, putting, me through, I've been putting myself through hell um, in training camp. And that's what you've got to do at the end of the day. You know, training camp's never easy. It just gets harder and harder and harder. And for the few months that I've just had, I've got to really, really dig deep. And that's what I have been doing. So on the 21st of December, I'll be prim, I'll be proper, and I'll be ready. And you mentioned earlier on... Um, you know, you don't want to be another one of these washed-up guys after five years. Yeah. Was there any point, you know, at, when you were leaving with the sun coming up, that you yeah. thought, I'm not going to get back into boxing again properly? Um, there was times in the villa, when I sat in the villa, you know, when it, when it hit six weeks and I was like, OK, I'm eating chicken and chips and a bucket full of mayonnaise every night. I thought, God, I meant to, I'm going to have to go back to fight at some point. I'm going to have to get my act together. But, you know, what can we do at the end of the day? It's, it's done now. You know, it was a great, great career move, but now I'm back. You know, I'm in good shape, I'm fit and I'm healthy. So, you know, let's just get back to it. Oh, absolutely. I mean, there's no denying, though, your life must have changed since yeah. then. Yeah, for sure, but it's changed for the better. And also, you've got to, you can't get too ahead of yourself at the end of the day. You know, all this fame, glitz, glamour, whatever you want, events. If you let it go to your head, you start drifting off and going down that wrong road. But if you keep your feet firmly on the ground and you stick by the people who stuck by you from day one, you know, and you just don't change much, you know. You do, you do your jobs, you go about your business, but at the end of the day, you don't change your friends, you don't get involved in new things. The big thing is sticking to the basics. And everybody know, who knows me, I've just gone from Love Island, going straight back to what I've been doing. You know, I was in this position a year ago, preparing for my first fight on the Warrington and Frampton on the guard. Remember it like it was yesterday. You know, I might be, you know, famous now, whatever you want to call it, but inside I'm still the same man. I'm still the same Tommy that was stepping on them scales in the red underpants. You know, I'm no different. I'm no different to anybody. And that's, that, that's how you've got to keep yourself. That's good. And your family, have they been supportive throughout this? I can't imagine your dad being a massive Love Island fan. Do you know what? He loved it. He loved it. <laughs> he was on the set of his coffee every single night. He didn't miss an episode. He loved it. Um, but, yeah, my family's always supportive. You know, whatever I do, you know, whatever I decide to go down, they're always going to back me 100%. And that's the great thing about my family. You know, they're just so loving and so understanding that I can really do whatever I want and they'll be there for me. What about Tyson? Was he ringing in to, uh, to vote for you? I think so, yeah. I mean, um, you know, I think everybody enjoyed it. Um, you know, it was great for everybody to see because people see me 24 hours a day for two months, what I'm really like. So everybody knows what I'm like now, so they know what to expect when they come and see me. Um, but I think, you know, as, as far as I know, everybody had a great time watching it. You know, everybody loved it. So it's always a plus point, isn't it?
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, Tyson likes a bit of glitz and glamour. He's been doing wrestling. Yeah. Uh, I've seen him training for UFC yeah. now. He's getting a few more strings to his bow. Yep, he's, uh, he's doing all the revenues, and he's doing the wrestling, he's doing MMA, obviously he's doing the boxing, but my answer to all that is why not? You know, he's young, at the end of the day, you only live once, so don't regret nothing. If you can do it all, get it all done. But he won't be taking his eyes off the ultimate prize, which is still, fingers crossed, February 22nd, Deontay Wilder. Yeah, for sure. You know, he can do all these other avenues. But Tyson's a very smart man. He, won't, he will not take his eyes off the prize for one second. And I'm sure you'll see you know, Tyson and Wilder in that ring February 22nd doing a great, great fight again. And what will happen, do you think? Oh, Tyson will beat him easy this time. You know, because when you strip it down, you've got to look at it. When Tyson fought Wilder, you come off two sparring matches, you know, just getting out there, getting back used to the crowd, and then going in and fight Wilder. He lost 10 stone in training camp. He'd had two, three years of drugs, alcohol abuse, everything. You know, went through, you know, the pits of hell. And he's come back from that and he's, and he's just come into the man he is today. But February 22nd is going to be, a, you know, a changed man. He's already had the hard fight. He's, he's had the fights. He's been training more. And if Wilder couldn't beat him then, <laughs> he's got no chance now. From this, uh, December, uh, sorry, sorry, back to December 21st, your fight. What do you know about this guy? Um, I'm not too sure, you know, on an opponent. My um, opponent's not been confirmed yet. But at the end of the day, we're not, we're not looking for no killers. You know, I'm 20 years old. You've got to learn your craft properly at the end of the day. I'm a realist. You know, I'm not going to go in there two fights deep and start challenging British and European titles. You can't do that. You've just got to take your time and evolve in this game. And on the night, can we expect a performance for all these new fans and the old ones as well? Oh, for sure. That's what I intend to do. You know, I'm not going out there to put on a bit of tip-tap boxing. I'm there to land heavy artillery. And I want to show everybody I'm not messing about. You know, I'm not coming back to boxing for a promotional stunt, gain more followers, bit of money here, a bit of money there. I'm here to fight and I mean business. And what's ideally this time next year, 2020, where do you think you'll be? This time next year, 2020? Hopefully on the horizon of um, a big fight maybe with KSI. Then we'll, see, <laughs> we'll, see, we'll see where he's at. Because, uh, you know, I watched a fight the other day and I didn't know he was going to continue fighting. But, you know, he, he says to himself he wants to fight. You know, he wants to keep fighting. So... Listen, I'm a fighting man, I'm young. We're both from that, you know, influence inside. He's from the YouTube ring, I'm from the Love Island. You know, we've both got a great following here in the UK. Why not make it a Brattle of Britain? But listen, I'm here, not looking over 21st of December. If you want it, he knows where I am. And any, I know, you know, it's going to take a while, like you said, but there are some big names in this division. I mean, maybe, yeah. maybe further afield? Yeah, for sure. You know, you can't take your eyes off the, the goal, and the goal is undisputed world champion. I've said it many times again. People might call me daft, stupid, young, whatever you want. But at the end of the day, everybody's got a dream. You know, you, that world champion that there is now, as once said, they always want to be a world champion. So I'm just another guy saying it, but there's a difference. I'm here to back it up and show everybody that I can fight and to show everybody that I will be at the top one day. And a special pair of pants for the weigh-in? You know me. <laughs> I, can't, I can't go in there with a normal pair of Calvin Kleins now, can we? Well, I'm not going to reveal. All to reveal on the night. OK, and just finally, um, you obviously enjoyed the Love Island experience. You're back to boxing. Do you think you'll ever get into reality TV again later down the, later down the line? Strictly, maybe. Oh, I'm a celebrity. Listen, do you know what it is? Um, as long as I take care of my business on the boxing side, doing what I love, why not take all these other avenues? You know, I'm 20, I'm young. You only live once. Tomorrow's promised to nobody. So if all these avenues come down, I'd be a fool not to take them. Of course I'll take all these shows. I'll take this, I'll take that. Because you know why? Why not? Why not, indeed. Well, good luck, mate. Cheers, mate. Appreciate it.